hello guys welcome to my channel i am dennis the national please if you are new be sure to like and subscribe so today i have a very unique video about a very unique person living in a very unique place i hope you guys will enjoy this otherwise let's get into it so my friend here his name is omosh he has been here is where he lives let me show you a, a greater picture of where he lives so simply put this is where he lives this is by the beach you can see that is the beach and the water surrounding this whole press others he lives here outside our wall so we stay right inside the i, I think i can show you we stay right inside the apartments the villa or i don't know what to call it inside here yeah we stay inside there so he stays here guys he has been here for seven years he came here in 2013 so i want you guys to listen to his story <coughs> otherwise the reason why i'm making this video is because while we were here guys he was so helpful i will just come here at night and just swing you know sit with him talk with him you know so he was so helpful he could get us things we needed most of the time you know when you are new someone somewhere also he told us the do's and don't like you know this beach is they don't allow people after 6 p.m so he used to help us in so many many things sometimes well, there's one day he even cooked us seafood with kachumbari and stuff and it was amazing so guys his story and his situation reminds me so much of me there was a time i used to live a very pathetic life if i can say and most of the times i used to have hope of a better life something like that so if you get someone who can give you that opportunity it feels good and it feels amazing and i am here also because some people believed in me some people helped me also you guys watched so many of my videos kind of changed my life you know when you start earning something from youtube it starts to change your life you can get some things you can get better things you can go to a better house and stuff like that but unfortunately for him so he still stays here and i know i don't have the financial capacity to move him from here or help him but also when it rains guys the roof has a problem it leaks so the guy is called omosh surprisingly he comes from almost close to the village i come from so, so that is something that also moved me to do this but i didn't do it mainly because we come from the same place i would have done it for anyone i'm just doing it because guys i have to do something for him if if my channel doesn't doesn't include this type of of things and videos to help people sometimes directly then it means there's nothing good i'm doing with my channel and I, I might as well close it and look for another job so my happiness also comes in helping people so if i if the guy gets some help especially i told you he needs the roof so much others i'll try to talk to him you can hear his story from him i can't tell his story he has to tell his you, you he, he has to tell it from you have to hear from him others before you hear from him let me give you a slight tour so this is like a kitchen where he cooks this is like a kitchen where he cooks his food just beside the house on on the right some slight seats so guys as you know when corona came and the beach was closed uh, things have been very hard for him because getting food or anything to go by is very hard he still has to eat he still has to survive otherwise you see the beach is very empty before it was closed there will be so many people here so he could let or he could rent some things like these chairs or swimming costumes or stuff that goes with with the beach and get some money you know but now since there are no people at the beach it's very very hard for him to survive so guys this is like an outside an outside garden or a place to rest it's very beautiful no sun here because of the tree and stuff so it has chairs this acts like a table so i always come here sit with him talk to him i think this is the washroom yeah so he also collects some sea things like 
antiques and stuff otherwise i love this type of like how he lives in a simple life but i also know that i need to help him do better you see the main reason why i'm making this video also guys is because as you can see this roof this is his place so this roof is very bad there was a it has rained here once while i was here so while i was sleeping i couldn't help but think how is he how is he doing with so much rain so the next day i asked him and he told me the roof was very bad sometimes it leaks uh, can i show them the house yeah, why not so guys he told me that the room the, the room leaks so as you can see it, it's all sand down here he has this nice shelf and stuff he's definitely a good guy organized and stuff you see this is where he sleeps guys and this is not a nice place for a human being like me to live honestly it's not a good place that's why i'm making this video so also sir, another surprising thing he used to have a, a white girlfriend i don't know if i can show you well he used to have a, a white girlfriend but he told me she went away back to italy uh, germany germany she went back to germany so guys life has been tough for him ever since he just come anymore because of corona yeah he can't oh she can't come because of corona and stuff yeah guys but otherwise i want to help him uh, get him some financial help so he can renovate most things in this place the you can just see guys sleeping here while it's raining it's going to be a one hell of a night and that is not something that i will be okay with he's a fellow man like me and he deserves the best so otherwise guys uh, i'm going to ask you guys one of the main important reasons why i'm doing this is because i want to help him build it, reconstruct this roof so guys i leave his contacts on my description you can you can send others you can send me something because i don't know i don't know if i put his number it will be okay or something or but i will start something like a pay bill on my description or when i'm editing this video i'll put the pay bill number on the screen so you guys can send anything you can get uh, then maybe if it's it's a nice money or this video gets a lot of views uh and i get something that is good we can come and reconstruct our whole, the whole place or get him another place entirely he can rent so that he can just come here for work he doesn't have to to live in this place so i'm going to interview him you are going to hear so much about what he has gone through so omosh yes please my you have been here for over seven years yes i've been for like seven years uh -huh. yeah okay i started as a, a bouncer yeah at a pirates club oh just at the entrance when you're coming inside to uh, this beach yeah and uh while i was working there as a bouncer yeah. I started a small business whereby I was having some chairs uh, for people to sit right in front of my boss's place. So my boss got angry with that and uh, because he decided that uh, there is no way I could be working for him and as well managing my business right in front of his place. So he chucked me away from there. So he brought the policeman and the Kenya Wildlife Service people and told uh, vacated me from there. So when I came here, this was a forest. Oh yeah. Yeah, this was a forest and it's a river at the same time. It's a seasonal river. Oh, this is a seasonal river. Yes, it is. Water so comes from that side. Water comes from the other side uh, all, all the way to the ocean. Yes, this is where it enters the ocean. Yeah. Oh. And it's called River Mtopanga. Oh, River Mtopanga. River Mtopanga. Yeah. So when it rains uh, because it is uh, around this time when it rains, I don't know why it's a bit late this time. Yeah. All this sand goes to the sea. Yeah. So when I come back to what we were talking about, uh I was brought here as like throwing me away, oh. you know, so that I could give up and go back home. Yeah. So for the seven years, I've never even harvested because many people, when they come, when they see the water right from the entrance, yeah. they, uh, they get confused from there, so they don't reach this side. So they've been having a bounty harvest for all these years while I'm just watching them. So I decided that I'm going to, even though they thought that uh, they're throwing me away, mm. but I decided that I'm going, whatever is, is bad, I'm going to try and make it as better. good as I, better as mm. I can. So basically that's what I did. And uh, I've taken all those seven years trying to make it as good as I can and just trying to make it as clean as I can. Mm, it looks because, nice otherwise. Yes, it was a big so. 
so guys you see it looks nice and it's all white sandy beaches and it's clean he keeps it clean also yes yeah so so very early in the morning when i wake up the first thing i do is collecting the rubbish i've been doing that for like seven years yeah. making sure that there is no plastic around here yeah because the plastic when the plastic gets to the sea it kills the animals inside the sea the turtles and all that yeah. so i took as a volunteer i just took it uh, for free nobody pays me for it yeah. And uh, I decided to be doing it, and that's what I've been doing, and that's why the people, the neighborhood, loves me, likes yeah. me rather. Yeah. Yeah. So slowly, slowly, uh, then it has transformed to this. But uh, at the same time, uh, tourism has been very low for like almost now, maybe 15 or 20 years. Yeah. So it has, it has been, it hasn't been a walk in the park. Yeah. It has Just been traveling very, very, and very surviving, tough. something like that. Yeah, with the weather, with El with uh, you know a lot of. Challenges. Yeah, and it's made worse by Corona now. Corona and the Al Shabab and all yeah. that. Oh yeah. But now it's okay. The Al Shabab, we don't hear much of that. Yeah. Those are things that have really contributed to the, you know, to the demise of tourism. Yeah. Yeah. So just like that, and I've stuck here many. I've not even gone to my homeland for, for the for all that time. Seven years. Yeah. You would like of, to of go someday? Giving it my all. You would like to go someday? Yes, I would like, like to go, but you know it's a lot of money going down there. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, it can't just go. My parents are there, the family is there that we separated because of me taking care of this place and yeah. there is no income. So we separated with the family. So you just have to stay here? I have to stay here and make sure that the place is running until maybe one day it works. So uh, will you, do, you, do you communicate with your family even? Yes, I do. I communicate with them. Oh. And would you love to go visit them maybe soon? Uh, so much, so much. If I could have the capital, I could even go today. As now, because of this corona, I'm doing nothing. Guys, so <coughs> if you are anyone who would like to come about and help him travel to the village so he can see his family. He hasn't seen his family for over seven years. And uh, someone like me who lives in Nairobi alone away from my family, even four months is a very long time to be away from the family. And especially if you're alone with no any relative around, it feels slow sometimes. So if you can still take this and say, I want to help him go visit his family and something like that, it will be amazing, you know. Uh, I just want to do something that will change his life, make him happy and stuff like that. So, yeah, so this place looks nice. It has... You can see people come to rest here. He has this nice flower by the table. These swings, which I love to come and swing in this place. Uh, the place where he's sitting, I like to rest there. I mean, it's a good place, especially if you're someone who has come to the beach. Sometimes it, it's hot and you can see here this, this huge tree. It has a lot of shade, so it's a cooler place and the breeze from the ocean. Others, guys, all these are big hotels and resorts, but he's just on the shadow of these big resorts and wealthy people, and he just lives here with almost nothing. So that is something I want to change. So guys, like I say, a pay bill number or I leave the contacts on the description, you can send something. Let's help Omosh. Uh, if we get a, a good money, we can transform this place so we can have a, a little bit better place. But otherwise, my opinion is we can get him a, another place away from here so that he can just be coming here during the day and try to do his things. We can get him some few things he can rent out to the people. That will mean more income for him. Yeah, And also we can help him go see his family in the village. He comes from Siaya actually. Uh, near, near then? Yes, near Alego, uh, near Masumbi. Yeah, Masumbi. Masumbi village. Yeah, he comes from Masumbi village. So I guess we can arrange that too. Otherwise, I'm doing this, I'm not sure if it will, it will work. But one thing I'm sure is I have to try. Uh, when I, whenever I see something that I can do something to change, this is the only voice I have. So this is the only way I know how. If I was financially capable, I would have done it myself. Otherwise, I can't. So I'm asking you guys to come, to come in and help. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to his story. It's a sad one at that. And for me, I like listening to stories. But when 
there's something I can do, I always like to try and change it. We are African. If we don't start taking care of ourselves, we can't all be having fun and happiness and stuff while he just struggles and suffers in this place alone. Guys, like, subscribe otherwise, and check the description for more contacts on how to, to reach Omosh and stuff, and also how to donate. It will help him a lot, you know, especially getting him that new roof so that he has to sleep in a better place. That is the first thing. Thank you, guys, and this is it. Omosh, what can you tell the people? Uh, uh, in fact, uh, I, I really appreciate whatever you've done. I've been dreaming for something like this for a very, very long time. Okay. And it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very rare opportunity that you've come along. And uh, I think as, as uh, God is in front of us, it will work for us. Yeah, I hope it works. Otherwise, thank you, Omosh. Thank you so much. Since this is a final goodbye, I'm leaving. Guys, I'm going back to Nairobi, so... I won't see him for a while, but when I come back, I'll always check in on him. If you guys can do something good, I'll come back sooner so we can do something great for him. Maybe even help him go back to his village since I also come from around those places. Otherwise, guys, thank you for watching my videos always. Goodbye.